The first time I used Expo was SDK 16, and that was three years ago. Hello, React Native Developers. Expo SDK version 39 just dropped, and it ships something near and dear to my heart. Let's have a look. Guys, I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. We've made this video in collaboration with Expo. What originally drawn me to React Native development is that you could come in with web development skills. If you know how to build a modern JavaScript application, you know how to build a React Native app. If you know how to build a modern CSS layout, you know how to build a layout in React Native. And what attracted me immediately to Expo is that it was bringing us web development-like agility to our React Native app. So leveraging the power of web technologies thanks to React Native and leveraging web development agility thanks to Expo. And over the years, I've been really pleased with uh, the roadmap of the project with things like adding TypeScript support and React Native web support to the most essential modules in React Native development. Now, even though this was not the top headline in the official Expo announcement, my main excitement around SDK version 39 revolves around Reanimated 2. Reanimated 2 Alpha 6.1 is shipped part of this SDK. The point one in 6.1 comes from the React Native web support for Reanimated 2. And in fact, I was able to run some of the Reanimated 2 example from my gestures and animation course. Reanimated 2 was publicly announced three months ago. And back then, things were a little bit rough around the edges. There were no TypeScript support for the new API, nor for animation worklets. And some of my uh, animation use cases from Reanimated 1 couldn't be yet implemented with version 2. And since, thanks to the awesome uh, community, first of all, the TypeScript support is now rock solid and you can use TypeScript to write animation worklets. And a lot of uh, bugs have been fixed, and now I can have all my animation use cases from V1 implemented in V2. Minus some uh, small breaking changes, you can still use the animation nodes from Reanimated V1 in your project with Reanimated 2. So you can really adopt Reanimated 2 at your own rhythm. So how do you get your hands on this new toy? Well, the Expo team has created a Reanimated 2 template that you can play with, but I would really recommend you to follow the upgrade steps from the Expo documentation. You can upgrade your project to use Reanimated 2 in three simple steps. Let's have a look at one example. Here is the React Native Fashion project, which runs SDK 38, and we're going to upgrade it to SDK 39 and Reanimated 2. Reanimated 2 has two small breaking changes. Interpolate is now an animation worklet, which means that if you want to use Interpolate from V1, which is an animation node, you need to use Interpolate node. And same thing for easing, which is a non-object containing animation worklets. So easing has been uh, renamed as easing node in V1. This means that if you have packages that depends on these functions, you need to upgrade these packages. And in our case, we had to upgrade the React Navigation Drawer, which was relying on previously on Interpolate. And since we use color interpolation here, which relies also on Interpolate, we had to upgrade the version of uh, Redash to 15. So now we're going to use the Expo CLI to upgrade the project. So I'm going to do Expo Upgrade. According to the Expo documentation, you can enable support for V2 Alpha in three simple steps. First, we need to enable the Turbo modules from the app.json file, which unfortunately means that the debugger won't be available anymore. Step two, we need to install the reanimated Alpha 6 package. So I'm going to use Yarn to do that. And finally, we need to add the reanimated Bubble plugin that is in charge of uh, compiling the animation worklets to be executed on the UI thread. So I'm going to open the Bubble config and enable the reanimated plugin. So now I can start the project. And 
in React Native fashion, we rely on the interpolate function. So I'm going to replace invocations of interpolate to interpolate node. All right, so we have the reanimated one code that seems to work nicely. But now if we want to see if uh, reanimated2 works, let's do a reanimated2 animation. So here we have the graph animation, which we're going to quickly rewrite as reanimated2. So here we have the use transition from redash, and we're going to do things in the reanimated2 way. So I'm going to create a new transition which is a shared value, so use shared value. And we're going to use, the, um, how is it called? Use focus effect from React Native, Re, React Native navigation. Is that, yeah, seems to be correct. So when we are at focus, transition.value, we're going to assign the timing function. So with timing to one and a duration of 650 milliseconds. And when we lose the focus, we reset the transition value to zero. So now we, we have our transition and we can use it to interpolate or animation values here. And instead of using these animation nodes, we're gonna write JavaScript expre expressions directly. So here we're gonna have a style and we're gonna use use animated style. And we're gonna return, so this object right here. Now scale y is transition, so now it becomes transition dot value, and we need to calculate translate y. So we have current height translate y. So here multiply becomes a regular JavaScript expression. Transition is a value, and here same. So the minus divided by two no need to use animation nodes. Let's have a look. I need to import use animated style. So you see, so let me switch back. It nicely animates using reanimated two. So we've successfully upgraded our project to both Expo 39 and reanimated two. Now, the other major upgrade part of this SDK is React Native 0.63. And this new version ships the beautifully designed log boxes. They look absolutely incredible. And there is also a new API to disable specific warnings. And this new version also ships the long-awaited pressable component. Before the pressable component, the state of the art in terms of touchable components in React Native was a bit messy because there are so many different expectations according to the platform on how uh, these buttons and touchable components should look like. We had really um, a lot of uh, components shipped by React Native, touchable light, light touchable opacity, uh, I think native, feedback, touchable, touchable bounce, you name it. And let's have a look actually back to our uh, React Native fashion app where we had the, um, this uh, touchable button that we implemented uh, with reanimated one and react native gesture handler. And so let's see how this would look like with the new pressable component from react native 0.63. So here I'm replacing pressable. And I think the style property receives a Boolean pressed. So a Boolean value that tells us if the button is pressed or not, and we can return a different style according to the state of the button. So if the button is pressed, the opacity is going to be 0, 0.5. If not, the opacity is going to be 1. Let's have a look. So you see here I press opacity 
And I invite you to check out super well-written documentation on Pressable. It really uh, makes a deep dive on how to use this API in order to build uh, all sorts of uh, custom uh, touchables. And another new feature that will help us to build user experiences that fit the expectations of the user's platform is the new uh, color platform API from React Native that allows us to use platform-specific colors on both iOS and Android. So here, for instance, I wrote an app with the system background color from iOS, text uh, color also from iOS, and on the left side, I'm in the dark mode. On the right side, I'm on the light mode, and the colors have been uh, adjusted automatically. And you can also access the platform colors from Android. So this new feature can really help in fine tuning the user experience to really fit the expectations of the user on iOS and Android. There are many other improvements and upgrades part of this new SDK, and I invite you to check out the official announcement from the Expo team. I am really looking forward to hear your feedback on this uh, new release and also, I hope that you are as excited as I am about Reanimated 2 Alpha 6. Guys, I am looking forward to talk to you soon. And in the meantime, happy hacking.